we, main this issue, is the main issue. Yeah. We don't bombard people with our thoughts. What we do is we invite people to listen to our thoughts. Yeah. And the way we invite is by putting something like, that's why we won't use Facebook. Because mm -hmm. Facebook bombards people yeah. with other people's thoughts. In the feeds and in the feeds things and that everything. happen. Yeah. So we can't agree with Facebook on it. That's why we don't have a Facebook account and we will never have one. There's plenty of fake Facebook accounts in our name out <laughs> yeah. there, but we do not have one and we will yeah. never have one because it feeds the addiction to bombard people with your stuff. Yeah. And we're not interested in bombarding people with our stuff. We're interested in sharing information that people have to search to find. Yes, that their own seeking for truthful material leads, leads them. them to that location. Yeah. And that's why we, we love YouTube. Like whoever yeah. set up YouTube, we love you. Yeah. We think it's a wonderful thing because it's a, it's a way of finding things yes. without bombarding people yeah. with things. Yeah. And please don't go down the Facebook page, little <laughs> well, page line. Well, you know, they've started to introduce advertising. Of course, and I understand why, because yeah. it's such a big organisation with a large amount of data, but it's not something we would do. No. We don't advertise for that reason. Yeah. We don't market. It's yeah. probably market is different to advertise. Advertise is where you, you just put something on a notice board somewhere yes. and people, through their own choice, discover it. Yeah. Marketing is where you're in the person's face. And you're trying to find avenues to enter into people's environment yeah. and their life in so order to So for example, to, to give an example, a um, having a email account is, is not marketing, but if you send a whole heap of emails unsolicited to other people, now you're marketing. Yes. One is in harmony with love and the other's out exactly. of harmony with love. Uh, with regard to phone calls, having a phone is loving, so people can, uh, can contact, contact you, you or you can contact others, but having a... Uh, you know, a marketing strategy where you ring up people unsolicited yeah. to force things upon them. That's yeah. marketing and it's completely unloving. Yes. It's out of harmony with free will completely. If a person has to tell you no yeah. before they've told you yes. Before you've said yes? No, before yeah. they've told you yes. yes. Oh, now, I see what you're saying, sorry. If yep. a person has to tell you no yeah. before that person has told you yes, yeah then you're out of harmony with love. So if I say, <laughs> would you like a drink of water? And you say, yes. Yes. Then I've enabled your free will choice. Correct. Whereas if I go, here's the water. And I've got to take it. And I've got to say, no, I don't want yeah. it. That's unloving. Yes. Right down to that little example. Yes. And people don't realize that, right? People don't realize that if, if I'm forcing you mm -hmm. into saying no, mm -hmm. then I'm already being out of harmony with God's love. Exactly. So I'm definitely never going to be, not going to be at one with God in that state. No one at one with God in that state is in that state. In fact, no. everyone at one with God is so sensitive to the will and the true desires within a person's heart. Yeah, you don't they, even have to say no. no. They don't <laughs> even offer a single thing until they can feel the yes. The yes. Yes. And, and this is a very important, and this is, I suppose, another one of those truths that, I, that you know, could be quotable. Yeah. If you have to say no to a person yeah. before you've said yes to a person. Before they've said yes to you. No, 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 no I get it. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I missed it. the quote. Yeah. If I have to say no to you before I have said yes to you, yeah. it means you have been unloving to me. Do you understand that? I get it. <laughs> <laughs> and if you have to say no to me before you've said yes to me, yeah. then it means I'm being unloving to you. Yeah. And you can take it down to sexual interactions to, yeah. like if I've got to say no to you when mm -hmm. you're coming on to me sexually yeah. before I've said yes to you, yeah. then basically you're coming on to me without any, any um, respect to my free will. Yes. And that's out of harmony with love. Yeah. And, and these kind of people do that all the time. Yeah, in fact, a lot of the people that we've spoken about in this list... All do that. All do that. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why we're not interested in interaction. Yeah. yeah. Because if I've got to say no to somebody before I can say yes to them, mm -hmm. uh, we're, they're already out of harmony with love and demonstrating their disharmony with love yeah. already. Yeah. And, and, I, and I have very little desire to spend much time with such people. Yeah. Yeah. We want to spend time with people who we can feel from them a desire... And we go yes to that desire, yeah. we want, you know, instead of it being forced upon us yeah. as a demand. Yeah. A person who's in a demand is say, you've got to say no to before you say yes to generally. And look, you usually, even if you say no to one demand, you're They'll usually going to have one. to say no to another one and, because that injury exists within them. Correct. And so until that, till they, they have, want to deal with that injury, 
Yeah. They have no understanding or respect for the law of free will. Yeah. None at all. Yeah. yeah. That's why, you know, I see certain things on telly where they do one thing and then they do another and then they compare them and they say they're the same thing. And when I look at them, I go, no, they're completely different because one is demanding something from somebody mm -hmm. and even demanding a no from somebody yeah. before you will withdraw. Yeah. And the other is waiting for the other, for the somebody's yes. Yeah. And that's a much better thing to do. Yeah. So, so for example, newspaper advertising mm -hmm. is much more in harmony with love mm -hmm. than email marketing yes. or phone marketing. Because yes. newspaper advertising is waiting. People have to buy the paper. Yeah. They have to look up the pages. Yeah. They have to search. They have to decide, or oh, am I they reading that thing yes. or not? Yeah. They have to search yeah. it all because they want something. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That, that's a much more loving thing yeah. to engage than, uh, aside from maybe the trees it cuts down, but you could easily do that <laughs> yeah. on the internet. Yeah. And, but uh, but well, it's a much more loving... Well, on website, you know. Yeah, it's a much more loving thing to engage yeah. than trying to force people into seeing what you're thinking every moment of the day, like Twitter. Yes. Twitter is a, one of the most <laughs> unloving things you could ever set up. Sorry, guys, on Twitter. It's I know you spent wide. a lot of programming time doing it, but honestly, <laughs> it's one of the most unloving things you could have done, as long, along with Facebook. And, <laughs> and those kind of, the reason why those kind of places have taken off Massively. is because they feed the addiction of people to be involved in other people's lives. Yes. Forcibly. And to have other people involved in their lives. Forcibly. And, and <laughs> it, it, this, you spoke earlier about the self-absorbed child that yes. is growing up in the world today. Yeah. And a lot of these things reflect that in, they, they're generated through that injury and yes. then they compound that injury, they grow that injury, they make yes. people feel that it's perfectly normal to have these very intrusive, uh, all about me driven kind of, uh, yeah. what do you call them, aspects of our world? Well, it's, I suppose it's a reflection of the narcissism in the world that most people who are even involved with these accounts have no idea that they are themselves being narcissistic. Yes. You know, yeah. why else would you want to share that you just wiped your bum today and <laughs> just, just had a coffee just five minutes ago? And, you know, why do you need to share all of this stuff yeah. with people? What, yeah. what, what, what is the need driving you to yeah. do so? Yeah. And, and those kind of people, we find it very difficult to respond to, to be honest, yeah. because we can feel the huge addictive need. And to respond to such a need is out of harmony with love. Yeah. No celestial spirit will respond to that person yeah. ever yeah. until they get out of that. You know, of course, the social person will try to help them see that they're in that condition, mm -hmm. but they can't do it by communicating with them because as soon as you communicate with them, you're responding to the need. Exactly. So you can't, you've yeah. got to do it through some other yeah. avenue. Yeah. Mm.